Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. All right, are you a little bit more tired with our daylight saving time? Yeah, it feels like today has gone way too quickly, it but really I will say the like later sunsets <laughs> will be nice. Exactly. And boating on Lake Champlain will be nice, you just mentioned. It's calming, it's brewing, right? <laughs> A lot of ice to melt before we <laughs> get there. True. So uh, we'll take a look at what's going on right now on Storm Tracker. It's a whole mess of everything. Some sleet, some snow, some rain. Not too much freezing rain, but we almost have everything out there. And it's on the lighter side. Most of the activity seems to be across the northern half of the region right now. So the northern Champlain Valley included out towards Malone and Messina. There's nothing big off to the west, but still enough moisture to keep especially the mountain snow showers going through the rest of the night and actually into tomorrow. You can see how things went today in Plymouth, New Hampshire. This is Grafton County. You'll see the snow falling there for a time. Then it gets a little wet, a little icy. The visibility has come up a little bit, but it's still very murky out there. A little better though over Lake Champlain. This is the view from Burlington. 35 little rain falling at the airport and elsewhere. Most of us are above freezing 38 in Bennington. Middlebury has 36. Saranac Lake is at 35. Only a few spots right below freezing. Montpelier at 30, Newport 31, but even there uh, a lot of wet roads. So over the next few hours, the wind will continue to become less of an issue. It's already lighter than it was, but I think overnight we even see a, a continued decrease in the wind. Still some of those mountain snow showers tomorrow. There may be a few in the Champlain Valley, but most of them will be in the mountains. And finally, it will turn a little warmer by the end of the week. In terms of the wind, we're still talking about occasional gusts between 20 and 30 through tomorrow, but nowhere near the 50 that we saw in a lot of spots today. And here's the diminishing coverage of the snow too. See how it's mainly just in the Adirondacks and in the Green Mountains tomorrow, but there may be a band of snow that comes through the valley, say around five or six tomorrow, but that seems to be the biggest chance right in the Champlain Valley tomorrow, really around the evening commute. And for Tuesday, a little sun starts to come back, especially by later on Tuesday. So here's the forecast overnight. Temperatures pretty much hold steady. They don't really go down very much or up very much. There'll still be some snow showers out there. And tomorrow we're talking about mid and upper 30s. I don't think there'll be sun, so it's another cloudy day just a hair above freezing. The sun, as I said, starts to come back on Tuesday. The high on Tuesday is 30. Wednesday looks fantastic. Even not very much wind on Wednesday mixed with the sun. So a great ski day, the high 40. Then 48 on Thursday and 55 on Friday. We do have rain showers in there on Friday with a lot of clouds. If we get enough sun, we could hit 60 somewhere in the region on Friday. The other thing worth mentioning, the highest temperature we've seen so far this year is 53. So even if we only got to 55, it'd be the warmest we've seen this year. We do drop off next weekend. At this point, it looks pretty good for St. Patrick's Day itself. Clouds and sun cooler, about 33. And then next week, a little colder as well. So we'll enjoy the brief little warm up there when it comes. Jen?